What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing very well. Today's the day. We're going to Miami. We're getting out of this frozen tundra, hopefully getting a little bit of warmth and maybe a little bit of sun if we're lucky and the weather is very good. We are going to be going to Miami for nine nights. I think it's nine nights so that we can get two weekends in. I am hopefully going to be creating some content for you guys. It's part of the goal. And then also uh, just kind of spending a little bit of time with my sister and her husband who are down there for a wedding. So I think it should be a nice little trip, a nice little getaway. I am going to be working a bunch of the time that I'm there, but we figured it'd be good to kind of go for an extended amount of time where we could kind of work and then kind of enjoy ourselves when we aren't working. I am going to be taking Minnie. She is going to be coming with us. She's singing across the couch with me wondering why we're not doing the regular routine right now. She's very energetic this morning. Uh, she doesn't, she doesn't like the travel part, but she loves coming everywhere with us. Like she really liked it when we took her to California last year. She really liked it when we took her to New Jersey for all the holidays this year. That's why we've been taking her with us because she really doesn't like it when we leave. So I'm going to go get her ready. I'm going to go get ready. Basically just rolled out of bed. I'm going to do some skincare. I'm going to put on a hat and like an all black outfit. And that's gonna be my somewhat put together plain outfit. And then, yeah, when we get there this evening, we are going to a Miami Heat game. So I'm very, very excited, I'm very excited for that. And I'll probably check in with you guys when we get there because it's gonna be, it's gonna feel like this morning is gonna be a lot. So if you wanna come along with us and see everything that we do in Miami, then keep watching. She's just like staring at me like, why? What's going on? Why aren't you feeding me? Say hi, Minnie. Oh, and don't forget to like this video if you like this video. I very much appreciate that. And comment down below. Let me know all of your thoughts. not super sunny out but the warmth feels good hello friends we made it to miami it was pretty simple uneventful plane ride mini was fine we just got to our little airbnb we rented like a condo in i guess kind of like the midtown design district i think it is i'm not super familiar with the different neighborhoods that are in miami but it looks really nice here it's so nice and like warm and humid i'm enjoying it not super sunny out today but um yeah we are starving i think we're gonna go get some lunch we just fed minnie she is walking around the apartment kind of exploring and checking it all out she's kind of calmed down from the ride so like i said earlier we have miami heat tickets tonight so i'm super excited for that and until then i think we're just gonna kind of explore like i said get some lunch and maybe even take a nap because i'm absolutely exhausted i was just editing my pack with me vlog on the plane so i'm almost finished that yeah i'm looking forward to a nice relaxing weekend and excited to bring you guys along with us look who's exploring are you exploring yes you calm down you're exploring now yeah you are oh she likes it and this is our Airbnb's quick little tour here. We got this kitchen. I like this place because it had a nice big kind of spacious kitchen area, a little coffee spot right here for the morning. Sink. Here is our little living room. We wanted a place that had plenty of spots to kind of sit and do work and stuff. I also, you guys probably recognize this. This is a bunch of products from my recent declutter. I brought them here to give them to my sister. I asked her which palettes and things she wanted and she said she wanted eyeshadow and lippies. So this very heavy uh, parcel is for her. This is our little living area, washer and dryer. Nice little bathroom right here, also very spacious. Hello. And then here is the bedroom. We got little Minnie and Tyler relaxing. Some artwork. And 
a nice walk-in closet. We just ordered some kitty litter and some more food for little mini here and some snacks and so we're just waiting for that to arrive at this point you guys might have seen my pack with me vlog that i filmed for this trip this is the outfit that i wore on the plane i've just got some lululemon joggers i've got my m jemmy sneakers i have my little gucci baseball hat on and then a cropped sweatshirt i'm gonna be taking all of my clothes out of the bags and i'm gonna be putting them in the closet because i just i can't live with them in the suitcase but if you guys are curious like what i brought on the trip makeup wise and outfit wise then definitely check out that vlog We are off to the game. Say hello to little mini in the background. I ended up for this because I don't have any Miami Heat outfits. I am just wearing these little Nike joggers, my white sneakers, and then I've got my cute little Gucci t-shirt right here, which I don't know. I just kind of like the colors and it's pretty neutral. And then I have my Fendi baguette. I am also wearing my Gucci Hat, so we have a little Gucci situation happening here. And then this is the makeup that I did today. I mostly used the Hourglass Tiger palette. And then I've got one of the YSL candy glazes on. I will find the color. I'll find the shade and I'll pop it in the description box. And then I also bought this really nice eyeshadow single from Sephora. I know, me, eyeshadow singles. But I was trying to see if I could find a dupe for almost maybe the mario glitters or the pat mcgrath glitters because i just wanted one eyeshadow single that would be like a really nice topper and i found one from sephora collection so i think i'm gonna do a get ready with me and show you guys how i did this look or maybe something similar later this week but this is the very quick and easy glowy makeup that i did let me know what you think <music> Good morning, friends. I woke up a little while ago. I'm just chilling out here on our patio because it feels so good and drinking some cold brew. I just posted my pack with me video. So I got up a little bit earlier to get that live for you guys. So definitely check out that video if you haven't already. I don't know what we're gonna be doing today. I think it's gonna be a pretty overcast weekend. In fact, I think it's gonna rain most of the day tomorrow. So we don't really have much planned. I think we're just gonna kind of explore, enjoy ourselves. I don't know if we're gonna do anything like specific today because the weather isn't the best, but I am thoroughly enjoying the warmth and the humidity. Yesterday we went to the Miami Heat game and we walked all the way there and all the way back and it just felt nice to kind of like be outside. I'm sure a lot of you guys um, can relate if you are going through winter right now. One of the reasons why I love coming here is because it's kind of like the opposite of Boston. Like the weather is different, the vibe is different, the people are different, the fashion is different, the food is different. So I, I love that. I think it's like a nice little break from sort of the normal and sometimes I kind of feel like I fit in a little bit more here at times. At the Miami Heat game it was really interesting because not a lot of people were wearing Miami Heat gear. If you go to a basketball game in Boston everyone is wearing Celtics gear like everyone is like wearing green etc whereas I feel like at the Miami game the crowd was a little bit more I don't know more chill and no like no one was wearing Miami Heat gear which I thought was really interesting but instead 
what was kind of cool is that there was definitely a higher percentage of people who were dressed up for the game specifically the women like there were more people wearing heels like i saw some thigh-high python boots knee-high glitter boots um gucci louis chanel like i saw so much luxury clothing oh we sang happy birthday to rick ross who was also at the game i don't know he was there and we sang happy birthday to him it was really fun it was definitely a different vibe not as like intense as a boston celtics game but i thoroughly enjoyed it i loved the people watching and the fashion watching and so yeah i'm looking forward to doing more of that today so i'll take you guys along with me and show you what we end up doing oh dish cat is living her best life you're so excited yeah you want treats living your best life okay friends so here's what i am wearing today hopefully you can see it okay because i can't really open up the blinds in here because they're stuck but this is the lighting that we are working with i am wearing this denim coach dress it has like cute little embroidery around it and i just like to wear it open with a little bralette so it's not it doesn't really expose too much, but I get a little bit of like ventilation. Today's gonna be probably the coldest day when we are here. It's like a high of 75 outside, so I'm not gonna be like too hot in this. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to wear this today. I am wearing this with my little Prada Fisherman sandals, and I popped on some little frilly socks. I like to wear these with socks because otherwise, like they're comfortable shoes, but my feet are so blister prone. This just makes it so that I can walk all day. So yeah, that is the outfit for today. And I've got my little APM Monaco jewelry on my wrists. I forgot to mention I'm still wearing the Fendi baguette. I feel like this is a good bag to dress up or down and it just kind of goes with all of these summer clothes. So this is kind of the vibe today. Comment down below and let me know what you think of my outfit. I'm also wearing my APM Monaco hoops that you guys love so much. I'll find these and link these down below because you should still be able to get um, this jewelry from APM Monaco. It's one of my favorite jewelry brands if you guys don't know. And then my makeup for today, I mostly used the Viseart Sole La Plage palette and then I used a Tom Ford, the um, Sun Drunk Tom Ford Blush Duo. And then you guys need to try this lip color. It is one of the YSL Rouge Volupté Shines in the color Orange Carousel. And it just adds the most beautiful kind of like hint of orangey warmth to the lips. It goes really, really well with any of these more like summery types of palettes. If you like warm tones, if you like golds, things like that. So this is my makeup for today. I decided to go for a very, um, I guess, clean girl summery makeup look so we're gonna go get brunch at a place that is like nearby in this neighborhood and hopefully they have some good noms
your lovely dinner and drinks at Beaker and Gray in Wynwood. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that place. We went there last year when we were in Miami and they have very good food and even better cocktails. So we went there and then we're back here at our Airbnb to give little Minnie her evening meal. And then we're gonna be going down the block to watch the Celtics play the Lakers because we are those people. I am rooting for the Celtics and then someone here So I'm going to be rooting for the Celtics. The odds are on my side. The odds are on my side. Those are our evening plans tomorrow. My sister and my brother-in-law get here. They're at a wedding this evening. So hopefully we'll get to spend some more time with them tomorrow. But tonight, it's going to be a sports bar night. <laughs> Oh, this is the video? Oh. Yeah, it's our vlog. The game is super close. It's tied and there's 4.1 seconds left and might go into overtime. It's a real nail biter. of a loser. Woo, good morning friends. I just got back from one of those Barry's boot camp classes because they have one of them nearby. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get a good night's sleep after that Celtics win. Wake up refreshed, do a nice little workout and it definitely felt super good. Those classes, I didn't think the class was hard but it is a little bit difficult to do those types of workouts when you're basically in the dark with like lasers and music blasting. Comment down below. Comment down below if you know what I mean. A little overwhelming if you don't do them regularly. My sister and her husband are coming down from Fort Lauderdale. They were at a wedding last night and so they're gonna be joining us today. So I think we are gonna get just cleaned up, maybe wait for them to come and then go get some food. And yeah, I don't know where the day will take us. Yesterday we really were just wandering around, kind of enjoying the warmth. It's a much nicer day today. It's actually sunny. And I think the next couple of days are gonna be sunny. I'm grateful for that. Yesterday we were kind of just like exploring, kind of scoping out our area, scoping out our neighborhood. We went and walked around the design district. No, I did not shop, but I wanna go back later this week and go shopping. We walked around the Wynwood area. We went down to the water, to one of the parks. It was just very enjoyable, but I think Today we'll kind of see what um, my sister and brother-in-law want to do because we are in a group. She just patiently waits for me to come back in from the outside. Are you living your best life, Minnie? Are you living your best life? You're such a good kitty cat. Okay friends, so this is the outfit for today. I am wearing the Fendi chambray high-waisted pants and then I've got this little sort of knit crop top from Rag and Bone. This is really good when it's just pretty hot outside. It's gonna be hotter and sunnier today and of course humid. So if I'm gonna be wearing pants, I just like don't want anything super restricting on top. My feet got a little bit sore wearing the Prada sandals yesterday, not because they're uncomfortable, just because my feet are very blister prone. So I went back to the sneakers for today and then I've got the Fendi baguette again. This bag just matches with everything, specifically this color. I think is very practical. If you guys have been looking at the Fendi baguette, I know there's a lot of very tempting bright colors, which are super cute. And I would totally get if, you know, it was within the budget, but I love this sort of beige color. It really just goes with everything. And this is what it looks like when I'm wearing the bag. The Fendi baguette, it's a pretty long bag. It does kind of like almost overwhelm the frame when you wear it cross body like this, but I kind of like that. It's kind of a vibe. And so that's also why sometimes I like to have my shirt, my top be a little bit simpler because this is almost hanging right here as an accessory. So I kind of like the way it looks when it's cross body. So you see the pants and then you see the bag right here, but we're kind of keeping it simple up top. By the way, guys, I wanted to show you this sunscreen that I really, really like. I've talked about it, I think once in maybe a favorites video, but I know I have a lot of new subscribers, so I wanted to show it to you. This is the Banana Boat Light as Air. You can get it in the cream formula and you can also get it in a spray formula. This is so good. I set off maybe like two summers ago to find affordable drugstore body sunscreens that were not super 
greasy because I like to use, I'll show you guys what I'm using here actually. I am using this little Japanese sunscreen. It's from Can Make and it's called Mermaid Skin and it's super duper portable. So that's why I like to use this one when I travel. I like to use this kind of stuff on my face. This, you know, I'd be done with this in two days if I put it on my body because there's really not that much here. So this is good for the face, but highly recommend the Banana Boat Light as Air. I'll link it down below. I tried a lot of different things and this is definitely the best and I always get the 50 plus and it absorbs super quickly as it says here and it's non-greasy. I don't really like the scent. That's the only thing I don't like, but whatever. Like all of these drugstore ones are pretty much scented. So I just kind of wait for it to dissipate. I wanna show you guys my makeup as well. I'm kind of squinting because I'm not used to the brightness out here, but I just did a very soft, nude, brown, sort of sandy, shimmering eye. And then I did a little bit of like a brown pencil. So something a little bit different, a little bit of eyeliner this time, pencil eyeliner. And then I'm wearing those new, um, what is it? The Tower 28 One Liner all over the lips with the Tower 28 Milky, jelly lip gloss i think it's called they're so good they just came out with those one liners and i love i'll put the colors that i'm wearing down below by the way very moisturizing really nice you can see i swatched it on my hand so that's kind of what i'm wearing on my face today just like really simple neutral glowy i've been really loving the danessa myricks vision cream cover i wore it yesterday lasted all day you don't want to be heavy-handed with it but it's it it's so long lasting like the humidity everything and then i've got my little chanel i guess you could call them hoops my little heart hoops today my apm monaco custom bracelets these are great you can get them to say anything and you just sort of order them custom they're so cute and then i've got my little gucci sunglasses here that i bought from nordstrom rack as like kind of a a little pop of color so that's the outfit for today it's already nice and warm outside, and my sister is going to be here any minute. All right, we got the whole gang here now. Yeah. This is Christine. Hi. We're going to get Poke Bowls. What's the place called? 1-800-LUCKY. 1-800-LUCKY. Comment down below if you guys have been to this place. We're about to get some Poke Bowls. It's somewhere in Wynwood. Sorry about the cars if you can hear that. What's up friends? So we were exploring Wynwood earlier and now we're gonna try and find a place to eat dinner that has TVs so that the boys can watch the rest of the football game. But we're gonna show you what we're wearing out to dinner. And the theme of the dinner is- Alcohol. <laughs> and the theme of the dinner, the theme of the dinner is trendy casual because we don't know where we're gonna end up but we still wanna look cute. So here's what we're wearing. So we got some comfortable trousers some black trousers that had the little snaps so we got a little sporty look going on i've got this chain belt that i've had since middle school for a little bit of flair mm -hmm. i also don't have any silver jewelry so i'm not gonna wear any jewelry i'm just wearing the belt and then i've got my little prada 
nylon t-shirt here and I cinched it and I just kind of like brought it up so it had a little bit more of like a cropped look so it's like in line with the trousers so we add that I feel like this is enough bling right here and then I'm carrying the capucine because even though it has gold hardware it's the only thing that matches with the white Prada fisherman sandals did you get did you get the sandals Christine mm -hmm. we got the sandals so this is the look for tonight what is Christine wearing <laughs> I am wearing <laughs> the oversized jeans with the rips. Very a nice. Thrasher t-shirt. A thrasher t-shirt. And an oversized hot pink jean jacket. We have very different <laughs> styles, as you can see. come to the beach today good morning again friends i look super gross right now just finished up a workout with my sister and brother-in-law in the gym that we have in our building just a nice little way to start the day last night we went to actually a place that i've already been to before in winwood called lay chick they have like a bunch of different things they have healthy things but they also have really good fried chicken pretty much we all got burgers i ate this delicious burger called the barbarian oh my god it was so big but it was so good i ate the whole thing and we put the little football game up on the phone for the boys so they could watch football so all was well but today is going to be a beach day we're going to be heading down to miami beach we're not going to like a beach club or anything we're just going to go to the beach and have a good time it's nice and sunny today it's been pretty much gorgeous the first day or two we were here was a little cloudy but yesterday was super nice today it's going to be super nice unfortunately my boyfriend tyler has to work today so we're going to be leaving him here and he'll join us later but yeah we're just going to have a nice little beach day super chill i'm going to go shower right now and then slather myself in sunscreen screen and then I will show you guys what I'm going to be wearing to the beach. So this is what I'm going to be wearing to the beach. Sorry to sound repetitive but if you didn't watch my pack with me vlog I told you guys all of these bathing suits that I usually wear are from Farm Rio. They're very very flattering and they have a ton of different shapes and what I like about it is that you know even though I don't think you can get this specific print anymore what they tend to do is they'll have you know a couple of signature prints each season and then they'll make little matching sarongs and they'll make little matching hats in the same print. So I actually have two bathing suits in this print. I have this little like bootylicious bikini one and I also have a really nice one piece that has a little bit like more coverage just depending on how I'm feeling. I'm gonna go for the little bikini one today because like I don't know when in Miami go for the bikini I guess and this one is really cute because I don't know you wouldn't think that this would work because it has these little like poofy sleeves but it's actually super flattering if you're like me and you're bottom heavy and you are like flat chested as well because it adds a little bit more like volume to the top of your body and it also protects my arms or my shoulders rather from getting sunburned and you can kind of wear these up on the shoulder or you can wear them down as like an off the shoulder type of style so I think I'm gonna wear this and then yeah I'll just kind of wear it with like the little sarong maybe on the way to the beach maybe I'll put on like some shorts or something but it's kind of nice because then it's like it almost feels like a little crop top like a little shirt so you might not need to bring like another shirt with you but I'm going to be linking their swim stuff down below because they have some of the best swim things if you like fun little prints obviously um, this is a really great brand to check out and they always have really good sales as well so I'll try and let you guys know when they are having a sale this spring on their swimwear okay friends so I'm just giving you an idea of what this looks like with the sarong you can also use this as a beach blanket which is probably what i'm going to be doing today but this is how the top fits it's super duper comfortable comes with a little bit of padding as well i hope that they bring back this style for this upcoming summer and then this is the little matching hat i've just tied my hair in a little 
sleek bun as you can see. I like to mist it with some sea salt spray and then wet it and then just kind of tie it back and then if I go in the ocean I might like I don't know let my hair down or whatever but I just wanted to show you the whole little beach ensemble you know in case you guys are thinking about picking up some swimwear or whatever I highly recommend these nice little sets. <laughs> friends. I'm looking super glowy tonight. I used the Pat McGrath foundation, but I think because it's so humid here, it looks a lot dewier than it normally does. I also have just been using the Hourglass Tiger palette. I put on the blush and then I also use the Mario, I think it's called the Shimmering Skin Perfector as like my bronzer and then also my highlighter. And then I've got that awesome YSL candy glaze for the lips. So I did like a very neutral eye and then a little bit of like a lip. We had a really fun time at the beach today. I'm just like in my closet. We had a really fun time at the beach today. It was like perfect weather, maybe 83 degrees, but sunny, nice to go in the water. It was just like a really nice chill time. I tried to vlog a little bit, but you know how it is at the beach, like you're just lying on the beach. And then we got some smoothies and then we came back here. We've just been like cleaning up and relaxing. And now we're gonna go get some cocktails. And then I think, yeah, we're gonna get, we have a dinner reservation in Win in Wynwood later on. So that's what we are up to today. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing. Okay, so today I went a little more dressy. I am doing my Fendi set that I bought in Paris. This is from the summer collection from last year. And it's just a silk pair of, I don't know, palazzo trousers and then it comes with this matching crop top and I'm just wearing a little bralette underneath and kind of keep it open so that I have a little bit more <laughs> movement in my arms and then I was gonna pair with the Fendi bag but I kind of like the way that it looks with the Louis Vuitton bag so I like the brown and the gold so this is what we are rocking today and I'm wearing it with these little chunky heels these are C by Chloe, C by Chloe. I thought I had brought the black ones with me, but unfortunately I think I brought the brown ones by mistake. I thought I had swapped them out after I did my packing video, but that's okay. I think they still look all right with this outfit. So this is what we've got going on for tonight. <music>
So the next day was actually my shopping day, which I have a separate vlog video for. I will link that down below in case you guys want to see my shopping vlog in the Miami Design District. This is just me afterwards giving you guys a quick little debrief after my shopping experience. Ooh, friends, shopping is complete. Definitely look out for another video where I will do a little show and tell, a little haul video showing you guys what I bought on my shopping trip along with a shopping vlog. Now I am just heading back to our Airbnb. My sister actually went back a little bit early. I just had one more store that I wanted to go into. And yeah, I think then we're gonna be going out for some drinks. We do have a dinner reservation at an Italian restaurant later tonight that my sister really wanted to go to. And so I'm excited for that. But yeah, shopping was definitely a success. The design district is so nice. Thank you so much to all of you who told me that it was a good place to shop. A lot of you guys recommended that area for me. I think it was nicer for me than going to a mall because, sorry if you can hear the music, it's bumping around here. I think for me it was nicer than going to a mall because it's like outdoors, it's enjoyable. If it's nice weather, go to the design district because they had like every store that I wanted to go to. So I really didn't feel like I needed to go anywhere else. Just know that most of the stores are very high end. Like you can find Aloe Yoga, Gani, Isabel Morant, like you can find all those types of stores but they're still expensive. There's really not a lot of like affordable shopping there. It is very much like a luxury destination. So I will say that, but I really liked it. It was like one of the nicest shopping areas I've ever been to. So we are headed to probably grab a drink somewhere before dinner. And I didn't really want to fully change. So I just changed my top. I was wearing that little like kind of more casual corset top. And then I popped on this one from Mara Hoffman. Hopefully you guys can kind of mirror here is like a little bit dirty. So hopefully you can see it. It's kind of like a tube top. The ruffles that are here in the front make it look like a giant blossom. So it's a pretty fun top, but it is like a little bit more bold. Great for warm weather. Mara Hoffman has such nice things, especially her summer collections, because she just uses all natural kind of like lightweight fabric. So this is what I'm going to be wearing. And I've got, you know, my Louis Vuitton bag like I have before. And then I am just keeping it casual with the sneakers because we are kind of walking everywhere. just checking in for today. I didn't vlog today because I am working remotely for the rest of the week, but we are gonna head out and get some food down. I wanted to show you guys my outfit because this is kind of like the highlight of my day. I wanted to show you guys these cute earrings. This is actually from, I believe, a Florida-based artist, and I picked these up last time or one of the times that I was in Miami previously, but this artist actually has an Etsy shop, and I purchased some other really cool, like, fun earrings from her shop. So I'm gonna find her shop, and I'm gonna link it down below in case you guys like these sort of, I don't know, just like more bold, fun, poppy earrings. I have a couple of pairs from her, and they're so, so cute. Let me show you guys what else I am wearing today. So I decided to do, I don't know, I'm calling this kind of like a Maria Grazia Chiuri inspired kind of look. I've got the long skirt with some tears. So we've got a little bit of flowiness, some casual sneakers. And then I've got this oversized shirt that is from, I think it's like, it's Maison Margiela Diffusion line. I don't know, I got it on sale at some shop. It's just like your basic oversized kind of like graphic t-shirt. 
And I thought it'd be really fun to pair that with the earrings because it's just like a fun little pop of color with an otherwise casual kind of effortless monochrome type of outfit. And then I've got my little Louis Vuitton capucine, which has kind of just gone with everything this trip. It goes really nicely with like the white sneakers, the white shirt. Just want to show you guys, not really up to much today because I am working today, but this is our fun little outfit that I changed into after being in sweatpants all day. So <laughs> there you go. sitting outside for a couple minutes with my cup of coffee and it's so nice and quiet. Last night after work Tyler and I went to a restaurant in Wynwood called Doya and it's kind of a it says Aegean cuisine it's kind of like a mixture of I guess Turkish and a little bit of like maybe Greek and Mediterranean so good you guys need to go to this restaurant if you are in Miami. I don't know if I've ever seen such a beautiful bar area like the restaurant itself is very beautiful if you kind of want like a nice chic and trendy vibe and it definitely filled up it filled up on a wednesday night it was extremely popular but we sat at the bar and we had a great time and the guy who was sort of like the cocktail master was the guy that was serving us the cocktails there are so delicious they have a lot of like interesting like infused things it was just really good and then everything's kind of like meze so it's small plates and i thought it was delicious i would definitely go back it's probably like one of my favorite places that i've been to here but i really like mediterranean food afterwards my my sister and brother-in-law wanted to go to trivia so we like <laughs> ubered over to this um brewery it was called unbranded brewing co i didn't know we had to know it was gonna be harry potter trivia and as soon as i walked in the door and i saw that people were wearing like robes and stuff i was like oh <laughs> We're not winning this trivia. <laughs> it was the more hardcore people that did really well, but it was it was super fun because like I've read all of the books and so is my brother-in-law, but that uh, my boyfriend and my sister have only read like half of them, but they've seen the movies. So it was just like a fun time, like trying to figure out the answers to these questions. Cause like half of them were things we just never would knew. We would never know. And then we just kind of came home and went to bed. I have a full day a full day of zoom meetings today you guys know how it is when you come back from like taking a couple days off and then you're just absolutely slammed the rest of the days that you come back and you didn't take off so i'm basically going to be working if i have time i might go down to the chanel boutique that is near me and see if they've gotten any of like the spring collection or the Le Beige collection i might call them and see because i start i saw that it started popping up in boutiques i might do that today if i'm able to get out of the house i just saw that it's going to rain all weekend and i'm so bummed about that i'm so bummed but that's okay it's been like literally the nicest weather the entire time we've been here and who knows maybe on saturday i don't know maybe we'll go to the mall or something like that we'll find something indoor to do and we'll have a good time so Ooh, what is up my friends i haven't vlogged in like two days because i've just been working remotely i did last night after work went to one of the chanel beauty boutiques here in miami and was just very fortunate that they had the new 
spring blush and eyeshadow palette. So I picked those up after like back to back meetings all day yesterday. That was my little treat. I picked up a couple of other little things as well. I'll have to do like a little makeup haul or something like that. I am gonna review most of the things that I pick up, but I picked up a couple like classic things from Chanel. Another water fresh blush and some eyeliners. And it was an expensive shopping trip, but man, I was like on a mission to get those blush palettes. I uh, filmed my review this morning. I got a bright and early when I just got that review live for you guys. So if you've not checked out that review, it is now live at the time that you are seeing this vlog because I just published it to YouTube. So I had a lot of fun making the video. I'm glad that is live. That's kind of what I've been up to, just working, creating content, and then doing my day job during the day as well. It is Friday night and I think we are, I'm just waiting for Tyler to get back. He's playing basketball somewhere and I think we're just gonna relax, go out to dinner. We are going to get some dinner. I did another look, the third look today with the new Chanel Spring 2023 face and eye palettes. I kind of just combined both of the palettes, added a little eyeliner and this is the look that we have. I love them. I like kind of mixing the shades between them and kind of using it almost as like an eight pan palette. And then I've got the lipstick in number 62 Libra. I'll link it down below. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing. I felt a little bit chilled. So I decided to wear this jumpsuit because I've got long sleeves. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing. All right, so this is the outfit. Obviously, you guys would have seen this in my packing vlog. I, I think the name of this brand is Mason. I forget the name. Gosh, I'm blanking now. I have it on. I can't look. It is kind of like a, a little bit more of a niche brand that you can find on Shopbop. So I'm going to link it down below. This is an old jumpsuit, but what I like about it is that you can kind of zip it up and down. So if you get hot, you can zip it further down. You can put it all the way up here. So it's just kind of a little bit adjustable and I'm just wearing a bralette underneath. Yeah, I'm just wearing it with my sneakers. So nothing too crazy, but I like the print. And then I've got the capucine. Good morning, friends. I look so puffy today. I don't even know why. I'm just cuddling with little Minnie right here. Oh, and there she goes. <laughs> I have a cup of coffee right here though, so I can drink this. It's pouring outside, so I'm not really sure what we're gonna do. Today is our last day here in Miami. We are gonna leave tomorrow at like noon. So I'm not quite sure what we're gonna be doing today. I think I'm gonna go work out. I've just kind of been relaxing because we're not really in a rush. Yesterday we went and got a little bit of um, sushi and ceviche at a place called Suviche, which is around the corner in Wynwood. We just had kind of like a chill night because we were just so tired from work. We're just gonna have like a nice chill day today. I don't know, maybe we'll go to like a mall or something indoors. I'm not really sure because it's literally gonna rain all day. Let me show you guys what it looks like outside. This is what it looks like. Still beautiful, but very, very rainy. First rainy day though, so I honestly can't complain. All right, friends, we have mobilized. I think we're gonna go get some brunch. It's a little chilly today and it's also rainy. So I didn't wanna wear anything that was too nice and summery because I think I'm just gonna be cold. So I decided to wear these fun pink pants that I picked up from Colt Gaia. And then I've got just kind of like my basic tee that I was wearing the other day. And then I've got the Fendi baguette. I thought this would be good because I've got like the little pink and gold Vendace strap, so I thought all of this would go well. And then I've also got the pink sunnies. These are good for, well, they're good for like cloudier days because the lenses aren't as dark. They definitely work, but if it's like a super bright day, they're not gonna protect my eyes as much. So I'll kind of save them for these types of days. And I like that they match with the pants. And then I've just got some simple gold hoops from APM. Monaco, same with the bracelets. And I've been having a lot of fun playing with those new Chanel Spring palettes. I basically have mostly the lighter one on my face today. Yesterday I used more like the darker one for going out and I love the way that it looks. Let me see if I can get closer to the light here so you guys can see. Oh, it's just so beautiful. And I used the Pat McGrath foundation. And as a base, I also used the Chanel Water Fresh blush in the deepest shade, which is called Deep Bronze. So pretty, oh my gosh. It's kind of almost like a cream bronzer, except it has a little bit of a blushy tone to it. And I just sheer it out across the cheeks. And then I layered the other, the spring blushes on top. And I think it looks 
so so pretty my skin looks very dewy when i'm here just because there's more moisture in the air and like i'm here for it because it doesn't feel sticky it's just kind of glowy so yeah i've been loving all this new makeup recently we are waiting in line at a place called morgan's and it is bumping but the food looks bomb and the two people over here just got chicken and waffles and it, it looks and it smells good i might have to get that i'm not sure you call them my life you break the line i'm falling for you you're stuck in my mind just all the time i'm falling for you and tell tell me your secrets i will tell So pretty in your smile, my mind, baby. I'm almost breathing. Tell me why, 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 baby. Do you look so pretty in your smile, my, 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 my. So we are here at the Brickle City Center because the weather hasn't been too good today and we were afraid it was going to rain. This is a very nice mall. I came here two days ago to go to the Chanel Beauty Boutique and I was like, this is a nice mall. This is good if you kind of want to be outside, but not really because everything's kind of like open air, but it's covered. And the stores here, like they have some kind of they're, they're luxury stores, but it's not crazy like, it's not crazy like Chanel, Gucci, Hermes. Like I went shopping earlier in the week in the design district and that's kind of like a really great place if you want to go to some of the super high-end designer stores. But this is actually a really nice mall if you want to shop at, you know, nice stores, but not like crazy designer. There's kind of a mix of everything. There's a Lululemon, there's an Intermix. I was in Sandro, I went to Maj, amazing sales. I'm gonna have to show you guys what I bought this week in like a haul video or something. But they had all these good like wintry things on sale that are like totally in season in Boston, but here like no one's really buying them because it's starting to get warm. So I bought some really good things on sale, excited to show you guys. Might pop into like another store or two, but wanna let you guys know this is like a really, really nice place to shop if you are in we have come for pizza. We are at Mr. O1 Extraordinary Pizza in Wynwood. Apparently this is supposed to be pretty good and we're just waiting for our table. They've got like prosciutto, burrata, and then a bunch of different pizzas. And it's supposed to be very good. Our appetizer is here and it looks bomb. Okay, so we've got a simpler pizza with prosciutto, white truffle oil, I think it's mozzarella, gorgonzola. And then over here we have a star-shaped pizza with ranch dressing, bacon, I'm not quite sure. It looks good. It kind of looks like a, uh, I don't know, like a, <laughs> like a buffalo ranch enchilada, but without the buffalo sauce. Ooh, I am back home. We kind of got caught in the rain, but it's all good. I'm in my pajamas now. I'm gonna get this makeup off my face, start packing up my clothes because we are leaving tomorrow. Our plane leaves like at noon, so I gotta kind of pack everything up. Had a really fun day today shopping at the Brickle City Center. Highly recommend if you just want a really nice, beautiful, kind of like open air mall with some nice shops, kind of like a mix of different things something for everybody in the family. They have like a huge Saks Fifth Avenue there. They've got a putt shack there. And then we went to the Mr. O1 pizza, which was chef's kiss. It was seriously 
so good oh my god the burrata the burrata was so good if you love pizza you gotta check it out apparently it is a chain so they have a couple of locations in miami and then a couple other ones like throughout florida and i was just reading about them on their website and the guy that founded it he came over here from italy on an o1 visa which is reserved for people with like extraordinary talents and so he called his pizza chain Mr. O1, which I thought was kind of cool. I thought that was cute. But yeah, guys, I gotta start packing up all my stuff. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope that this was interesting and fun for you guys to watch. And maybe if you are coming to Miami sometime soon, I was able to give you some restaurant recommendations or shopping recommendations. I'm gonna put all of the places that I mentioned in this video. And if I can, you know, some of the, the fashion and stuff that I showed you guys, I'll put that all in the description box down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and you want to see more vlogs from me. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you thought of the vlog. Also, if you have any good, you know, recommendations for the next time I go to Miami or for anybody else who is coming here, definitely comment down below. I know a lot of you guys are from the Miami area or from Southern Florida. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I am going to be posting a video of my shopping trip in the design district and also a haul of the things that I purchased on this trip. And with that, friends, I hope that you're having a fantastic day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!